Hey, welcome to uh, another uh, edition of Adventures with Bear. Um, going up to Clear Creek Hot Springs. It's a natural hot spring in uh, the Harrison area of BC. Um, only four of us made it out today. Uh, I was hoping for a little bit bigger group, but it actually ended up being quite nice because uh, it is a long weekend here, and uh, so there were quite a few people up here already. Um, but we managed to get in uh, and get a nice soak in. This is actually the uh, on our way out right now. I didn't take much uh, much in the way of video on the way in. I was leading, so uh, focusing on uh, the guys behind me and didn't really uh, didn't really see much point in videoing that uh, with nobody in front of me. Um, I like to have uh, the viewpoint of uh, other people in front of me so you can see uh, a little more context of the road and how much it uh, how much it angles and stuff when you're doing it from the viewpoint of uh, the lead vehicle you don't really get as good of aspect on that so yeah that's why I did it that way. So it is uh, mid-February, um, surprisingly there's not actually that much snow here right now. Um, as you can see the, the Jeep in front of me, Cherokee, he's, uh, he's stocked so, and he had no problems getting in today. It's, uh, there was a few spots where there's a little bit of clearance issue but uh, he didn't rub at all, um, just a matter of picking the right line. Uh, he gets up onto, onto some three-wheeling a little bit on some of these, so hoping to get some video of that for him, um, driving behind him. They were going to get me to lead going back out again, but uh, I told him I wanted to get some video of him for, for, for his sake more than anything. Um, uh, I do like having content, obviously, like that on my channel, but uh, so people know that their stock vehicles are capable of. Uh, because some people just don't realize they're a lot more capable than they realize. You guys are all right?
below the uh, below the snow line now. Um, it's actually uh, comes up pretty quick. Something you have to always be cautious of up in these kinds of areas. Uh, the snow line can drop in a hurry. You can also change in a hurry, and we got lots of lots of water coming down too. White, uh, white Cherokee just did a little bit of three-wheeling coming out of this spot. Uh, we'll see if Jeremy does with his as well. I think the other guy was just a little too far to the right. Uh, we'll see. Uh, yeah, no, he's up on three. Couple times there. No problems though. He was a little bit worried about this spot going through, but I don't think he'll have any problems with it. Yeah, no problems at all. see uh, different spots along the trail here where there's lots of uh, lots of big rock on the road um, there are lots of slides in this area this time of year um, because it is heavy rainfall mixed with uh, the snow runoff coming down the melt um, it's definitely something to be aware of when you're uh, doing the backcountry stuff um, BC especially it's uh, it's all mountain here, so definitely high risk of avalanches in some of these areas. This particular area, not too bad, but uh, we haven't had a lot of rainfall in the last couple of weeks, so a um, couple of days here and there with heavy rainfall just mixed with just light rain like we've got today um, doesn't usually set things off. It's when we get a week straight of the heavy rain. Um, then I generally won't even go out in these these areas just because that's not worth it to me. Um, probably nothing's going to happen anyway, but I don't like taking that risk when I don't have to. Um, this is within an hour or two's drive of, of home for me, so I can pretty much come here anytime I want. Um, so yeah, it's not a huge deal. Like I don't feel like I'm missing out if I don't go a certain weekend because of weather. Uh, whereas for some people that come like from downtown Vancouver, you're looking at three to four hours just to get out here. Um, so if you plan for a trip out here, then I can see wanting to actually not cancel and fulfill it, rain or shine kind of thing. But I don't know, to each their own, I guess. You can see where this one's washed out pretty good. Um, a lot of a lot of debris come down this one. Um, not run, not flowing very much right now, but definitely you can see where it does.
the line a little bit. Probably tell it gets really foggy here too. Uh, that's pretty normal for this area. It's the visibility a little bit, but uh, honestly, I really enjoy it. I think it looks really cool. Um, it gives it kind of that spooky feel to it. Coming through something like this at night with the fog, it was just that, that's amazing. It, something you'll never forget doing. Um, for me anyway, it's, uh, yeah, I don't know, I just really like the effect of it, uh, especially when it's really thick and it's just kind of hovering over the road, and you can actually make up, like, the clouds of fog on the road. Uh, I really like that. DC weather, man, it's fantastic. But yeah, we get uh, the rain and the snow and the fog and all that kind of stuff, but uh, summertime too, if you're more into the clear sky, warm weather stuff, um, July, August is when you'd want to come see BC because it's uh, usually 35 to 40 degrees Celsius, um, hot sunny days, clear skies. Uh, some of the mountains that, uh, that I do my wheeling up on, you get just phenomenal views of uh, huge valleys and uh, all that kind of stuff. So, honestly, it's, it's year-round four-wheeling here, depending on what your preference is for what kind of country you like to drive. Lots of lakes and streams. Uh, there's places you can go four-wheeling here in the winter where you're driving across lakes. Frozen lakes, so you're right on the ice. Just yeah, totally depends on what your uh, what your preference is, but uh, definitely people people wheel you around here, uh, including myself. Um, New Year's Eve, I did a run. Obviously, it's posted on my channel. Uh, the Jones Lake, fantastic run. Great group of people on that one. I like the uh, I like the summer runs too. Obviously, and, um, I do plan on doing some overlanding trips this year. Uh, I have a rooftop tent now, so um, I will be uh, doing some videos with that. Um, I haven't actually used it yet, but I'll be using it starting in March. I've got a trip planned early March, um, so I'll do a little. Uh, little video on uh, on that how easy it is to set up take down all that kind of stuff just because I'm curious um, I've partially set it up in my driveway it was pretty easy to do but uh, yeah we'll uh, we'll give that a go in March a couple weeks from now and uh, I'll do up a nice little video on that uh, Dixon will probably be with me uh, for that trip he won't be up in the rooftop tent, obviously, because I'm not going to try and get him up a ladder, but uh, he can sleep in the back of the Jeep. We'll have a little bed back there for him, and it uh, should be fun.
<laughs> Not quite. So close. Back down he goes. <laughs> Digging some big holes. steep. Jeremy's going to give this uh, smaller loop a shot here. Um, still a lot of sand to it, so <laughs> traction is uh, a little bit tougher, but uh, no big deep ruts, so not very steep either. So I think you'll be able to make this one. You have your lockers on for that? Yeah, use your lockers, you'll make it. Yeah, that's handy, eh? <laughs> Gonna try the reverse route here. Go the other way and come back around. <laughs> well, he's having fun. <laughs> he's having fun.